What's up, people? Ramon Jamal here, and I have something special for those photographers out there who actually purchased the Nikon D5500 and wanted to shoot tethered to their laptop into Lightroom, okay? Um, I'm just now getting into photography. Um, I'm really enjoying my D5500. I have a shoot coming up, and I wanted to uh, shoot tethered um, into Lightroom, okay? So what I did is I purchased this uh it's called a tether pro um i'm pretty sure that you know photographers out there uh, know exactly what this is but i actually got it from amazon but it's from a company called tether tools okay i'm gonna show you their site in a minute or whatnot if you don't know about the uh the tether pro okay but anyway i ordered the tether pro you know i got it like a you know a few days after i ordered it uh, come to find out nikon has not updated um the software on the D5500 to be able to tether into Lightroom, okay? So I had to research to find a program that would allow me to tether and shoot, you know, at least into that program because I wanted to be able to show the client the photos as I take them. And also it would be better for me to see uh, my photos on a bigger screen. So that's what I decided to do, okay? So what I'm going to do now is actually show you guys the program that I um, actually, I haven't purchased it as of yet. I will be ordering it. Um, it's not that expensive, but right now I'm using a 14 day trial um, just to test it out. And I found out something that's really cool about it and I will show you guys. Okay. Check this out. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you all uh, the websites. Okay. Um, the first one is going to be for the uh, actual tether pro. And I'll show you how to, to get the right cable for your D5500, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, so uh, this is uh, tethertools.com, okay? What you wanna do, you wanna go to tethertools.com. I'm also put the link in the descriptions uh, down below, okay? You go to cable finder, all right? Once that pulls up, you uh, select the manufacturer, okay, which is Nikon, and then you select the model, okay? So we go down to the D5500, looking for cable, and there it is, all right? Um, it is the Tether Pro USB 2.0 Mini B 8 pin cable, all right? So uh, that's what I ordered, but I actually got it uh, from Amazon, okay? Um, I wouldn't say the price was that much different, but I just actually like ordering from Amazon, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys the website for the software that I discovered discovered <laughs> that would allow me to tether uh, to my Nikon D5500, okay? All right. So now, here is the uh, website for the uh, software that I use to tether, okay? It's called Control My Nikon, okay? Um, this software is not ex expensive at all, okay? Uh, as you see here, you can download a free 14 day trial, which is actually what I'm using right now. Um, and then you can buy it. OK, 90 day money back guarantee includes three licenses and it's only twenty nine ninety five. All right. Um, just to let you guys know, I am not affiliated at all with any of these products. Um, I just, you know, purchased them because, like I said, again, I wanted to shoot tether and because Nikon has not updated their software on the D5500. It just caused me to have to search for a program uh, that will work. Okay, so this is the one that I felt would be um, good for me. Okay, and that's that. Okay, so let me go ahead. I'm gonna open these programs up and I'm gonna show you what I did in order to make this work. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, the first thing I'm gonna do is open the Control My Nikon software. Okay. So I actually have um, two screens up right now. Um, you don't need two screens, um, but I mean, it, it, it's, it's working pretty good for me at the moment. Um, okay, so you see here, this is my 14-day uh, trial is asking you to purchase or what whatnot. Um, you can go ahead and uh, continue, and it'll take you right into the program, okay? Um, I'm gonna move this up here. I forgot I actually have to minimize it a little bit here. I'm going to move this up here. All right. Okay, so now, all right, 
what you're going to want to do, you go ahead and get your Tether Pro here, all right? Um, it's just a USB on one end, all right? So you go ahead and plug that into the USB part of your laptop or desktop or whatnot. Um, just to let you guys know that this is only for PC at the moment. I believe that they are working on one for the Mac, okay? But this is PC only at the moment. All right, you take your other cable um, and plug it into the AV out on your Nikon, okay? So go ahead and get that plugged in. Go ahead and turn on your Nikon, okay? I'm actually running this on Windows 10 also, so it, it, it hasn't given me a problem as of yet, all right? So now that this is plugged in and whatnot, I have the program up here. You wanna go ahead and what you do is you select your um, your camera here. As you see, it, it actually uh, works with a lot of other models of the Nikon, okay? But we select the D5500, you click connect, all right, it takes a little minute. Um, it might be, you know, due to uh, the speed of my laptop, but hey, there it is, it's connected, all right? As you can see, it says disconnect or whatnot, but it is connected and ready to go. Uh, one thing I do realize that you might wanna check here, it actually asks you where you wanna save to, okay? So here you can save to card only, computer only, or card and computer, okay? Um, I would select card and computer, but right now I'm just gonna do computer only because this is just a test, okay? So after you do that, okay, that is really all you need to do inside of control um, my Nikon, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this, okay? Um, while I do that, there are a lot of other things that you can do in this program, okay? But right now I'm just gonna show you how to do the workaround for tethering into Lightroom, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Lightroom. All right, give that a little minute here. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull Lightroom up to the big screen here, okay? Okay, now that I have Lightroom pulled up, um, as you can see, um, this is just me doing some test shots here in my office, okay? Um, what you're gonna wanna do, I have it on develop. You can take it to, you know, library or however you wanna bring your photos in, okay? I have it on develop and you're gonna wanna go into file, okay? Once you get in the file, you click on auto import, all right? Let me go back real quick just to show you guys something, okay? I forgot to mention on um, Control My Nikon, you want to set your folder to whatever you want to set it to, you know, for your photos, okay? Um, right here, I created a folder on my desktop, okay? I'm going to be shooting some, some models, so I just, you know, called that models, okay? So I got my folder in uh, Control My Nikon, okay? Just click OK, and that's where your photos are going to go um, when you uh, import them into Control My Icon, okay? You want to come over to Lightroom, all right? And again, you're going to want to click File, select Auto Import, okay? Go to Auto Import Settings. You want to enable Auto Import, all right? And your watched folder will be the folder that you selected in your Control My Nikon, okay, uh, software, all right? So you go ahead and you choose that folder, all right? I'm just going to, you know, not select anything because I already have that that folder um, chosen in, you know, watch folders, okay? And then you're going to uh, want to create a destination folder, okay? So here's, you know, my destination folder. I called it Auto Imported from CMN to Lightroom, which is Control My Nikon to Lightroom. And then your um, subfolder name could be, you know, whatever you like. Your pictures are going to show up in your subfolder, okay? Um, and if you know Lightroom, there are some other options for saving your files, um, you know, the file name and information, develop settings or whatnot. Um, right now, I'm not going to, you know, set any of that, but you click OK. All right. So what's going to happen 
Okay, let me uh, try to move this down to this screen so you guys can see, okay? All right, let me see if I can uh, go ahead and get that there and this up here. All right, so within control my, my Nikon, um, you actually can see uh, the pictures as they come in, okay? You got to go to that subfolder, and there again, you see the photos that I've taken so far, okay? So now... I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of test shots and let's see what happens, all right? Okay, as you can see, it went into control my Nikon. And there it is in Lightroom, all right? So, hey, that's basically it, guys. That's my workaround for uh, control my Nikon into Lightroom for my Tether Pro. Again, I am so happy that, that I uh, was able to discover the way to work around this because at first I was really upset that I placed this order for this cable, which is not that cheap, and got it and realized that it, it wasn't supported with the D5500 and Lightroom, okay? So that's it. I could do a couple more um, test shots here just so you guys can see. You can even shoot... Um, you know, in, in high burst, all right? If that's what you call it. Like I said, I'm new to this thing. All right, a few shots there. Again, you'll see it go into control my Nikon. A little after that, it will import into Lightroom, okay? And there it is. Okay, guys, that's it for my uh, tutorial on how to work around uh, shooting from the D5500 tethered into Lightroom, okay? Um, I hope you get something from that. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, any suggestions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Again, I'll put um, the link to this software and to the Tether Pro into uh, the, the description box, all right? Um, that's it for me, guys. I thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Because um, I couldn't find nothing out there that, that would help me to uh, work this out. So I'm glad I was able to discover that. And I hope that it actually uh, is able to help somebody else out there, okay? Again, guys, my name is Ramon Jamal. I thank you all for watching. Peace.